Okay, now that we've mounted our photo resistors in part one of the video, we're going to write our code to track and either fear the light or love the light, and then we're ready to test it out on the floor. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is either open up our Arduino Sketch IDE on our laptop or on Create Online, and then you're going to go to File, Examples, SIK Guide Code Master, and scroll down to Circuit 5C Autonomous Robot. We're going to modify this code to do light tracking. Once the code is open, we are going to copy and paste in some code from our Circuit 1C, which was the photoresistor. So the first thing we're going to do is to copy and paste in int photoresistor equals zero and int threshold equals 200. 200 is the threshold in my house. This number may have to be changed. It depends on what the lighting is in your room. You wanna make sure it's a number below what it will be once you shine the flashlight. So I'm gonna leave mine at 200. So in your global variables at the top, just put int photoresistor equals zero, int threshold equal 200. Then scroll, scroll down to your loop function and we are going to delete everything inside of there because this is all your obstacle avoidance code. We're rewriting this. So just go in here and delete everything so that the only thing that is left is void loop, left parenthesis, right parenthesis, left brace, right brace. Now we're going to add the code for light tracking. So the first thing we need to do is to read the photoresistor and then we're gonna print it to the screen. So between the two braces, you're going to paste photoresistor equals analog read A0, which is where your photoresistors attach, 0.println photoresistor, so we can print the data to make sure we're getting good numbers. Then your first if condition is going to be, if the photoresistor is greater than the threshold, left brace, right motor 255, left motor 255, delay 500. That means move the robot forward for half a second and then read the data again. Notice there's a left brace and a right brace that you've added around right motor 255, left motor 255, delay 500. Else, we don't want the robot to move so then you're gonna have else, left brace, right motor zero, left motor zero, which means stop the robot for half a second, delay 500. Then you close the brace, close the void loop, and we are done with our code. So you're now going to do a check mark to make sure we haven't created any errors, upload it to your robot, and let's see what happens. All right, here is our light loving robot. So if I upload the code, and turn on the serial monitor, what you'll see right now, the photoresistor is reading about 150. My threshold is 200. So I'm gonna use my cell phone light to shine more light on the photoresistor, which is right here in the front. And the robot drives towards the light. If I take my cell phone away, the robot stops. There's my light tracking robot. I will show you it on the floor in just a second. So the only thing I have to do to make it run away from the light is instead of doing 255, 255, I do negative 255, negative 255. I upload again. And now when I shine the light, the robot goes backwards if the threshold is greater than 200. All right, let me get both robots programmed and take them to the floor.